Okay, hello and welcome back to Outside Xbox. Uh, this is Mob of the Dead, part of the Black Ops 2 Uprising DLC, which has come out today, if you're watching this on the day that we're uploading it. If not, it came out a while ago. It came out on <laughs> your, Tuesday. Your mileage may vary. Um, so, I'm Andy, I'm here with Mike. Hello. And uh, as Mike says, this is the, uh, the Mob of the Dead, which uh, features four new characters played by Hollywood actors. Yeah. So, uh, we have Joe Pantoliano, who you might remember from the Goonies. And uh, the Matrix. And the Matrix, sure. Um, Michael Madsen, Reservoir Dogs. Um, who else have we got in there? Uh, uh, we have Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta from Grand Theft Auto Vice City yep. and also Goodfellas. He was in that. And in order of awesomeness. Something. Right. And Chaz uh, Palminetti. Palminetti. Palomino. Yeah. Is he a horse? Uh, probably. I'd, what's he been in? No idea. So it's set on um, Alcatraz, in the prison of Alcatraz, on Alcatraz Island, off the coast of San Francisco. Yeah. So, uh, not really a particularly inviting environment. And uh, you're meant to escape, which is yeah. plain, famously impossible, right? Yeah, well, unless you have the parts to build a plane on the roof, which is essentially <laughs> your objective in this uh, game. You have a sort of... There's a guide with three steps on the wall when you first spawn in, and uh, you've got to go get the warden key, build the plane on the roof, and then fly it to to freedom. But uh, this being zombies, that's that's not really, uh, you know, these things never really end. So uh, yeah. interestingly, you'll have noticed that you spawn in in this afterlife mode, which is where you have the blue uh, sort of visuals and the and the hands in front of you, and that's almost like a, a sort of second chance. So. If you look in the right hand corner, there's uh, a little blue symbol with a three next to it. That shows how many chances you have to go into the afterlife. And you will automatically do that if you are killed by a zombie. So it's almost like a, a lives, essentially. Yeah. Uh, which makes, in a way, makes this a little more forgiving. But Because um, you can revive yourself as a ghost. Yes. Um, so you'll be able to wander back to your body. And actually, as it, while you're a ghost, you can electrocute zombies to ease up the pressure a little bit. But also... The, the twist is that it's also key to um, getting around Alcatraz. So in order to open some doors, you need to electrocute um, boxes or like that one just yeah, in the wall. Yeah, power-up switches and machines. Right. And and it's, um, so it's a kind of like a risk-reward thing. So yeah. you, you use one of your lives to yeah. be able to power these things up. This is it. So, I mean, you cannot... There are uh, boxes on the wall where you can electrocute yourself and go into the afterlife. But obviously that means that if you get killed by a zombie you mo you won't have that afterlife token to to revive you uh but equally if you want to make progress around the level you're going to need to to spend some time as a ghost yeah so it's a, it's a really interesting balance and and actually like i said it makes it a little, little more forgiving if you're if you're not great at zombies like me you're seeing a lot of the internal Alcatraz here but there's an outdoor area by the port and obviously there's the roof where you construct the plane there's also catacombs underneath uh, this area it's a really really huge map and actually yeah. I was talking to Dan Bunting about this um, at the Call of Duty Championships and he was saying that barring a few areas it's a it's a complete uh, sort of uh, architecturally uh, accurate remake of Alcatraz you know he yeah. said you could basically take the audio tour <laughs> if you wanted um, obviously you get accosted by zombies uh, which hopefully sure. doesn't happen on the actual Alcatraz I don't think the audio tour accounts for those um, no but, uh, no, <laughs> to your I, left, I, you'll yeah. find a, a slathering zombie. <laughs> There's uh, a couple of new uh, weapons um, in in this game. There's uh, the the blunder gat, which is a sort of cross between a blunderbuss and a, a gatling gun. It's a ridiculous oh, wow. looking okay. thing. Um, and then you can collect parts, uh, not just for the plane, but also to create the acid gat. Oh, cool! Uh, which is like an acid spraying modification um, for the gatling gun. Yeah, it's not it's not as good as the um, as the the traditional version of the, the blunder gat, as it as it were, um, which is a shame, but it's kind of novel nonetheless. As you work your way backwards on the wall to your right and left, there are um, boxes that allow you to um, to activate this acid trap, which will not necessarily kill zombies, but certainly slow them down. So there are those green green yeah. lights there. Uh, it's also one of the locations of the mystery box. Um, Reasonably well defensible because it's a, a big, big old donut. This room, so you yeah. can kind of lead the zombies in a merry chase around there, pretty, pretty easily. Um, but yeah, it's uh, a lot of traditional zombies sort of action as as you build up to uh, to getting the parts and, and heading up to the roof. It's really nice to have a kind of 
a real life twist on it. You know, it's very yeah, uh, very sort of recognisable building and recognisable location. You might recognise it from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Four. Yes, for another Activision game. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> they just love Alcatraz. Yeah. So uh, in terms of the um, the the sort of the the plot, there's, there are various sort of mystical elements. At one point, there's a uh, a giant sort of flaming dog's head on the wall, which oh, yeah. we're still not entirely it's, sure about. I did see that, uh, but that was visible in one of the trailers. So here we go back into the afterlife mode. Um, so you can use your electricity hands to zap yeah people. to zap people, but obviously you, it's you've got a time limit down at the bottom, as you can see. The, the sort of logo is um, is that going down? The as icon's as going as down. You use electricity. Yeah, so it goes down anyway, but it goes down faster if you use oh, electricity. Okay. So again, it's a risk reward type thing. So you can clear the area now. Clear you're space. yourself. Yeah. And so that makes life a little bit easier yeah. as I run around. So you uh, you saw someone actually finish this, um, right. this road at the preview event. How long did it did it take them? Did you, did you uh, find out? I suspect probably around half an hour. He said it was fairly straightforward, but I, as I understand it, he had some insider information as to uh, how to finish it. So, um, so, like all the zombies games, there isn't really an ending to this. I mean, you can play it indefinitely and survive for as long as you like, but... It's just secrets to uncover. Yeah, but there is a story ending. So, okay. building the parts of the plane on the roof, uh, there, there is a finale that you can you can reach, which is quite neat. And I kind of don't want to spoil it. No, no, yeah. Um, but it's, it's, it's sort of worth... It really is, for the first time, it's really worth collecting all those parts in a way that maybe it wasn't... In, in transit and die rise, um, so rather than just like small plot elements, it's a it's a proper there's a storyline to it of sorts. So one of the other weapons that you can get hold of is is the classic sort of mobster Tommy gun, which is handles really really nicely. I don't know if you uh, you tried it. At all yeah, yeah, I got a, a chance to, to play with it. It's quite because um, obviously it takes like a, a bullet a drum, drum yeah. which. Uh, you'd think it would take quite a while to reload, but it's actually uh, it's pretty quick. Yeah, so uh, unlike that horrible shotgun. Yeah. Um, pretty tempting to just zap everyone with these electric hands. Yeah, it never, it never makes as much sort of um, space as you'd hope, but, uh, and also you don't, you know, you don't get any points for killing zombies like that, so... Um, reload. Yeah, I was in real trouble there. <laughs> That's me basically done, I think. Have you still got enough though? One more. Yeah, I don't think it's going to help me much though. But yeah, it's an interesting twist. Again, like very different from Die Rise and Transit. And actually, I think I think people are probably going to like it more than certainly more than Transit. Um, and it's yeah, super atmospheric. Yeah, really atmospheric. Great setting um, and an actual an actual plot that you can follow and and attempt yourself. Yeah. So that's Mob of the Dead.